Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. School is very important in order for innocent human beings to do well in life. I went to both high school and a university, and I graduated with a degree from both of them. While I am very thankful for both of them, I also don't feel complete because I never went to a school about boating. And I also can't find one online no matter how hard I do research. And that blows because I really want to see one in real life. Mrs. Pop's boating school. Well, I don't know if that's real life, but I'll take it. As people get older, learning how to drive is inevitable. It's a true sign of growing up and therefore having an existential crisis. There are several ways to learn how to drive. I personally learned the basics from my mom and then met an instructor who taught me about parallel parking. There are also driving schools for those who are very anti-confident with themselves. Mrs. Puff's Boating School, Bikini Bomb's one-stop shop for everything to know about boating, complete with a main schoolhouse with a varying number of desks, a lighthouse, a boating obstacle course, and plenty of boats. Depending on how many boats get destroyed every week, it is run by a pufferfish named Mrs. Puff who is considered a very good teacher and is always proud to pass her students with flying colors, except for Spongebob who is unteachable. Mrs. Puff opened this boating school always trying to teach somebody who is willing to learn to drive a boat even though Spongebob can never pass no matter how she tries to teach him. Despite this being a school that teaches how to drive, there are some times where the school does things more typical of a regular school, like field trips, oral reports, and hall monitors. It's common knowledge at this point, but Mrs. Puff's Boating School was not originally planned for this show. Creator Steven Hillenburg envisioned Spongebob as an adult, but Nickelodeon wanted Spongebob to be a child. Hillenburg thought that this would be kind of an underwater version of everybody's favorite show about a football-headed guy, Hey Arnold, and threatened to leave the network otherwise. So Hillenburg created a school for Spongebob to attend, which would be the boating school, as well as the teacher, Mrs. Puff. As a result, one of the rules and limits Steven Hillenburg created for the show was that Spongebob would not get his license. For one, that would render the school and the character of Mrs. Puff worthless, but he also loved the character herself. Despite the fact that the boating school wasn't in the original pitch bible for the show, I always thought it felt more like a natural concept, as if it was a part of the original vision for the show, not forced upon by Nickelodeon. In the context that the show presented, it is implied that Mrs. Puff isn't actually named Mrs. Puff. Episode 59, No Free Rise from Season 2, implies that Mrs. Puff caused something bad in a different city and made an escape using balloon animals as a distraction. Oh no, they're after me. I'll use this empty soda can as a distraction. And then she changed her last name and started a new boating school in Bikini Bottom. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name. When she opened her new boating school, she vowed to teach any student who was willing to learn and never give up. And Spongebob was the first student to enroll in it, as revealed in episode 90, Doing Time from season 3. Ever since, Spongebob has been in boating school, not knowing anything about how to properly drive, failing almost every single time, and if he ever did get his license, it would be taken away in some manner. The address of this school has never been set in the show, but it's also not on the wiki either, unlike the address of Squidward's house. The first episode that featured the school is episode 9, Boating School from season 1. This aerial shot is our first time seeing the school. There is a fence surrounding the obstacle course and a green sign that says Mrs. Puff's Boating School in red letters. The main building of the school is yellow with a green roof. The lighthouse next to the building is red. There is also an anchor on a purple piece of coral inside the school fence. The obstacle course of the school has several twists and turns and has a wall, a giant hump, a flaming hoop with ramps, and a finish line. However, the inside of the building is not seen in this episode in particular. The interior of the building was shown for the first time in episode 14, Hall Monitor from season 1. Inside, there's a chalkboard, a teacher's desk, yellow walls, and a number of desks for students that varies between episodes. Usually there's about 9 desks, but sometimes there's more. Most of the time, there's only one classroom with desks, but sometimes it's treated like a regular school with hallways, lockers, stairs, and bathrooms. These hallways were mostly shown in two episodes from Season 3, Episodes 86, The Bully, and 104, New Student Starfish. The bathrooms themselves would briefly reappear in Episode 213, Boating Buddies from Season 6. However, Episode 223, Ditchin from Season 6, has a bathroom separate from the main building and requires a key in order to access it. 
The interior of the lighthouse wasn't shown until episode 497, Lighthouse Louie from season 12, where Spongebob cleans up the lighthouse and organizes all the junk in it and discovers a snail inside. Episode 519, Potato Puff from season 13, shows a room with a TV, chair, and microwave inside the lighthouse. In episode 133, Mrs. Puff, you're fired from season 4, Mrs. Puff gets fired and replaced by a sergeant named Sergeant Roderick who still can't teach Spongebob. No! In episode 401, Burst Your Bubble from season 10, Spongebob blows bubble boats for everybody in Bikini Bottom. And as a result, Mrs. Puff has to go to Bubble Boating School, which was basically her own school with the name changed and Spongebob was teaching her. Driving exams are always given, and according to No Free Rides, a score of 600 is required to pass. You need 600 to pass. Oral exams are given as well, and there's only 10 questions with these. Spongebob always passes those, but can never learn how to drive properly. In addition to those, regular school events are held as well. In Hall Monitor, Mrs. Puff chooses a Hall Monitor, despite only one classroom being shown in this episode. Field trips are also held, like in episode 73, Procrastination from Season 2, where Mrs. Puff stated her plans to take a field trip to a stoplight, yes, a stoplight, and in episode 200, Nautical Novice from Season 6, they go to a boating history museum. In Procrastination, Mrs. Puff assigns an 800-word essay to her students. Episode 182, Picture Day from Season 5, shows that the school has a normal-ass school picture day every year. Episode 340, Hello Bikini Bottom from Season 8, shows that the school has its own school bus. New Student Starfish has a good noodle board for when the students behave well, and this board reappears in Episode 424, Teacher's Pests from Season 11. Spongebob also has a public speaking assignment to give an episode 302 oral report from season 8. In addition to all the hallways and lockers shown in season 3, the bully and boating buddies also have a lunch hour, and it's implied there's a cafeteria somewhere because in boating buddies, Spongebob has this lunch tray with food on it. Wow, if there's a cafeteria that we never saw, who knows what else Mrs. Puff could be hiding? Spongebob is always enrolled in the school, and so are various other Bikini Bottomites. Patrick became a student in New Student Starfish because he wanted to spend more time with Spongebob. He also took the boating exam and passed it in episode 148, Driven to Tears from season 4. And he comes to the school to watch Spongebob do his public speaking assignment in Oral Report. Squidward also goes to boating school in Boating Buddies after he runs through a stop sign and gets a ticket. Mr. Krabs was shown in boating school twice. In episode 362, Tudor Sauce from season 9, he was sentenced to boating school after using Gary to teach Spongebob how to drive. In Teacher's Pests, Mr. Krabs and Plankton both cause a massive pileup and are sent to boating school. Some one-off characters in Boating School include Flats the Flounder, who only attended the school in The Bully, and Tony Fast Jr., the son of racing legend Tony Fast, who appeared in episode 297, The Hot Shot, from season 8. Now I know what you're saying. Mikey, all these details are cool and all, but I want to see some destruction. Okay, well first, that's our next point, and second, if all you care about is seeing things get destroyed, what's your problem? Now since the boating school is bigger than something like Squidward's house, something like just the building getting wrecked could count as the school being destroyed, but so could something on the obstacle course. So for simplicity's sake, I won't be including times when just the boats themselves are destroyed. And everything listed on the wiki in the building damages section will be counted here. The first time there was any kind of destruction in the school was boating school, where Spongebob crashed into the lighthouse and it fell down. Twice. Once at the beginning, and then again towards the ending. This next one is something that I never noticed until recently. In episode 48, Dying for Pie from season 2, right as the explosion happens, if you look closely here, you can see the lighthouse from Mrs. Puff's boating school. Even when I noticed it, I thought it could have just been a random lighthouse. But the wiki lists it as the lighthouse from the school, so I'll count in here. In No Free Rides, Spongebob races backwards and crashes through the brick wall in the obstacle course. In doing time, Spongebob destroys the boating school within the first 25 seconds of the episode when taking the boating exam. In Mrs. Puffier Fired, these three doors are destroyed by Surgeon Roderick. No eating in my classroom! And when Spongebob takes the exam, he runs into a giant gas can and destroys the school. 
In the hot shot, SpongeBob and Tony Jr. argued in a boat, and they ended up crashing through the entrance sign at the front of the school. In episode 303, Sweet and Sour Squid from season 8, the windows at the school are destroyed when Squidward plays his clarinet very loudly. That's not listed here, but I'm including it here, because fuck it, why not? In episode 332, Demolition Doofus from season 8, Mrs. Puff tries to kill Spongebob with a giant monster boat, and Spongebob drives through the boating obstacle course and into the main building, causing the whole school to collapse. In episode 339, Move It or Lose It from season 8, a new bow was being unloaded and Spongebob put it in reverse, and it drives through the front of the school. In episode 348, Bumper to Bumper from season 9, Spongebob was going out of control and just wrecked the obstacle course. In Burst Your Bubble, Mrs. Puff hit some flaming cacti and the lighthouse caught fire, but it was put out. In Teacher's Pest, Spongebob taps into Mr. Krabs and Plankton's wrecked boats and causes an explosion, which most likely destroyed the school. In episode 432, Don't Feed the Clowns from season 11, the school is on fire and it gets destroyed because the new clown hire doesn't help put it out. In episode 441, My Leg from season 11, a recreation of the scene from Boating School is made where Spongebob crashes into the lighthouse and it falls over because it's the first time the gag is used, and we see that the lighthouse landed on Fred's leg. In episode 522, Seaman Sponge Haters Club from season 13, Mrs. Puff tells a story of when Spongebob acted creepy as hell and destroyed her school while taking the boating exam again. But it's not listed here, possibly because Mrs. Puff's story is a flashback and it may or may not take place in reality considering this, but I'm counting it here because this is obviously how Mrs. Puff sees Spongebob anyway. And last but not least, a couple fun facts. The school appeared in every season of the show, but in season 10, it only appeared in one episode, which was Burst Your Bubble. There were a few times where the school was shown, but Mrs. Puff herself wasn't. And those were in Dying for Pie, where the lighthouse was shown right here. Episodes 204, Gone from season 6, 261, A Day Without Tears from season 7, and 516, Something Narwhal This Way Comes from season 13. There are also a couple of real-life Mrs. Puff boating school attractions in theme parks. At the SeaWorld in Queensland, Australia, there's a Nickelodeon land area that has Boating School Blast, which is the most extensive real-life version of the school, and SpongeBob's Boatmobiles, which is located in California's Great Adventure, but the theme is rather minimal and functions more like a teacup ride. Why is it called SpongeBob's Boatmobile if it's more of a teacup ride? There was also an attraction plan called Crash Course of Boating School, which would have been the first SpongeBob themed amusement park ride ever. It would have been a dark roller coaster with special effects, but it was canceled. Why? Mrs. Puff's Boating School is a great location in the show. It may not appear as often as the Krusty Krab or SpongeBob's house, and it may not have been originally planned for the show, but I always thought that it felt like a natural location in the series rather than something that was forced in out of obligation. Since it's more of a recurring location in the show rather than a main location in my opinion, that makes every time the school appears feel kind of nice, regardless as to what might happen to the school or to Mrs. Puff herself. And the location itself is also very important, because it adds more variety to the show, and if it never existed, we would probably only have episodes about the Krusty Krab, the Chum Bucket, and Jellyfishing. But I have to say, with the inconsistency of where the bathrooms are located, as well as the hallways, and the amount of regular school activities that are implemented into the boating school, how do schools work in Bikini Bottom? 